Sweden will be the next country to take over the European Union presidency this July. The question is, what will be the key items on the agenda? We have the Swedish ambassador, Jonas Hofstrom, here with us today. And Mr. Ambassador, we welcome you to Nine News Now. Thank you very much indeed. What key questions will the Swedish government have in this new role in the European Union? The number one question will be climate change and energy. And the reason for that is that in the end of the year, in December 2009, there will be a United Nations conference in Copenhagen. And at that conference, we will invite the international community to try to see if we can have a new comprehensive uh, settlement after the Kyoto Protocol. Mm -hmm. So that will be, of course, very much focus on, 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 on climate and energy. You talked about the Kyoto Protocol, and the United States did not sign nope. off on that. Nope. Do you find a difference in approach with the Obama administration, uh, a more uh, agreeable partner in this environmental climate topic? Absolutely. I mean, they, they are in the listening mood. That has been there for, for quite some time now, but now since the president has been in, in, the, in the White House for 100 days, I think we are n now we are slowly moving over to a more implementing phase. And absolutely, I mean, uh, the international community, be it the United States, be it the European Union, be it China, Brazil, India, they realize that, that there is something called climate change and all the scientific data is telling the same thing. So we have uh, a common, common uh, course uh, to, to tackle. It's surprising, I think, a lot of people viewing this when you said climate and the environment mm. were the number one issues mm. that the Swedish government is interested in, mm. may be surprised that it is not the financial crisis, the economic mm. crisis. Mm. Uh, where does that fit on the uh, ladder of top issues? I think that will fit as, as the num number two priority. Mm -hmm. And of course, we are all in the same boat. Globalization has made us you know, part of, of what's going on. Because Sweden is, is a, a small country, a small economy, but very dependent on, on our export industry. So when, when export uh, industry is going down, of course, Sweden is affected. And so that makes us also a player in this one. And also, I mean, free trade for, for Sweden and for a lot of countries, even for the United States, is such an important thing to, to really uh, highlight. And it's easy when things are tough that people are saying, well, let's keep the industry back home. Let's, let's protect our mm -hmm. industry. But the globalized world is, is saying the different, is telling the different message. You talked about the United States seeming to be more of a partner under the Obama administration. What do you see as the relationship between Europe, the European members, uh, and the United States? The Czech Republic is in charge of the mm. EU right now, mm. and their prime minister basically looking at the financial picture, quote, said that the Obama administration's mm. way of dealing with the recession was leading us on a path, a road to hell. Mm. What's the prevailing feeling of the member unions about the United States and, and where they want to see the world go as far as dealing with this global financial crisis? I think President Obama did a very successful trip to, to Prague where, where, and to the Czech uh, presidency. And there was good vibration both to style and, and substance. Uh, and I think we will uh, keep up this momentum during the Swedish presidency because we know that there are t a tough road ahead of us. Mm -hmm. So we need even even a closer cooperation in a lot of areas, climate change or, or the economic crisis or the, the, the challenges in the, wider, in the wider Middle East, for example. I do want to ask you about a special exhibit going on through June 7th at the embassy, basically living green for all of us. Tell us about that. Yeah, living green, you know, we have probably, now I boast a bit, it's not very good for us to do that. But we have the, our new embassies on the Potomac. Mm -hmm. And you know, it's, it's, it's a transparent and it's an open embassy. And the present theme right now is, is we call it living green. So that will play directly into our presidency. And there we have a, a green cafe. Uh, and you know, if you mix blue and yellow, you're yeah, green. green. And, and that cafe, we, we are exposing uh, a lot of interesting things. For example, we have 25 uh, gallons of water. Uh, that is the price you have to pay to produce one bottle of beer, wow. for example. <laughs> and all the steaks you are having washed on DC during the day, you need thousand cows. Mm -hmm. So we have this, this Living Green Cafe with the exhibition and if you are going there in an environmental friendly way you can have a discount on what you can buy.
Sounds good, yep. Mr. Ambassador. Thank you for being with us. And again, mixing the blue and yellow of the Swedish flag comes up great.